What's up, ladies and gentlemen? No zoop for you here, and today we're gonna be breaching. <laughs> and that's a funny word to use for this video. We're gonna be breaching the topic of is Russia spying on me? And yes, that's a very clickbaity title. No, I don't think they are. But I'll get to that point here in a little bit. First, I've got some winners to announce. If you recall, I was giving away three ships. I was giving away the Thunderer, the Ark Royal, and the Udachi. And plus, actually, I'm giving away four ships because I had to do a re-roll because no one has claimed the Friesland. No one no one wants to take the Friesland. I don't get it. I just don't get it. The Friesland is a great ship. I mean, you all should be so lucky to have a Friesland if you haven't been able to get one. So I had to re-roll on that as well. So four ships I'm giving away. And please, I urge every single one of you, get back to me as soon as you can. Let me know that you won. I've hit you up on Twitter. If you enrolled that way, I've hit you up on your emails. Also, in addition to that, so Invented Stick, DTEC001, Jalente, you're the three winners from this go around for the Thunderer, the Ark Royal, and the Udachi. Please get back to me and to the Friesland winner. I have emailed you as well. Check your emails, guys and gals, check your emails because I want to give these away. I don't want to have to re-roll them. I'm sure Wargaming doesn't want me to re-roll them because that just delays them getting them out and I'm probably sure they're sick of having these ships sitting around. So anyhow, that's that. We're moving on to today's topic though. And as the title said, it's Russia spying on me. And once again, that's a very, very clickbaity title, but that moves us into the actual point of this video. And some of you may have noticed a little while ago that Wargaming has put together for North America, a very cool tribute for veterans, military veterans. By using the website ID me, you get a World of Warships salute, which includes the premium US cruiser, Albany, which is a tier two cruiser. You get exclusive combat veteran, permanent camouflage for the Albany and a military veteran flag. So three things right there. And yes, at face value, it's just an Albany. I know some of you aren't gonna go out of your way to get that, but you know what? I'm not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth. I'm not. This is a very nice gesture with Veterans Day right around the corner. It's less than a month away, so this is just kind of a nice little thing Wargaming has done for military veterans. That military veteran flag is probably the coolest thing out there because you can fly that on any ship you want and it tells everyone, hey, look at me, I'm a veteran. And I know some of us don't like to bring that type of attention to us. Some of us do like being recognized for that service. I'm not gonna hold it against someone. If they do, I've got that flag on some of my ships right now. And that brings me to the second point. Some of you are afraid to do this, and I understand that. For you veterans out there, even myself, we like to guard our identity. Most of you know that cat cards, common access cards, are a sensitive item. We don't like giving that information up that easily. DD-214s, if you're retired, you probably don't care. And in all honesty, China and Russia probably already has our information right now, so it doesn't matter either way. Regardless though, some of you all have come to me and you said, hey Zoop, you know, are you gonna do this? I don't feel really comfortable doing this. I don't feel comfortable giving my information to a Russian company. I understand that completely. And I can probably tell you that things will be perfectly fine and some of you still won't do it. And that's fine, That that is your prerogative. And believe me, 100%, I understand that move. I understand why you would not want to, especially in this day and age. But I will tell you, I did it. I And the reason why really, at, at first, you know, when I got this offer, I was a little leery as well. I, like many of you out there, I don't like giving up my information. I don't like calling attention to it. I don't like giving up my cat card information when companies request it. You know, it's just something we're trained not to do in the military. However, ID me is a legit site, is 100% legit. And an interesting little story that I'm gonna give you right now to show you how legit it is. I'm in the market for a new vehicle. I have discovered that my extended cab Chevy Silverado is not gonna be big enough to fit two full-size car seats in the back for the twins that we're having very soon. So that has necessitated me looking for a new vehicle. I'm probably gonna go with another Chevy, probably gonna go with another Silverado, nothing against Ford or any of the other companies out there, but I'm gonna go with a crew cab because I need the space to fit these car seats. Now, I'm in a situation with twins coming that I need as much of a deal as possible and I'm looking to get any discount I can. A lot of car dealerships offer veterans discounts. I decided to get one for GM. 
And where did GM direct me? ID me. They sent me to the ID me website. And that kind of assuaged any fears that I had. And oddly enough, I had already signed up for ID me several years ago, I found out, because when I tried to sign up for a new account, it said I already had one. So I had to reset my password, submitted the information, and boom, got my discount number for the vehicle that I'm going to purchase in the near future. I'm good to go. So, World of Warships is using this system as well, ID me. I'm pretty sure they don't get anything from ID me as far as our vital information. They probably just get that little check in the box saying, yes, you are a veteran. And that's it, nothing more. So I don't think you have anything to fear regarding Russia spying on you or getting any of your information. And I do want to bring up, this is a very common misconception with Wargaming. Wargaming is not a Russian company. Yes, the president is Russian. However, technically, Wargaming is a Cypriot company. Their headquarters is in Cyprus. They are based in Cyprus. It just happens that the largest amount of their developers happen to be in Lesta, St. Petersburg, and in Russia. And I think that's the reason a lot of players seem to think that Wargaming is a Russian company. But Wargaming is a global company based in Cyprus. And a lot of their employees, a lot of them, especially here in North America, are former military. You've got tons of former military working for Wargaming North America, and they trust them. And I trust them with this event because I trust IDME. I know what IDME is. I've used it in the past. I'm going to use it in the future. So it doesn't bother me too much. And again, I want to thank Wargaming for this nice little gift they're giving to the veterans. And they do stuff like this. And in many ways, I don't think Wargaming gets enough credit for what they do. They are, they are awesome to veterans. And I hope they expand this to the other countries. I hope they expand it to the EU. It would be nice for them as well because they have a lot of uh, service members that have served in the Iraq War, Afghanistan, with us. With us. I mean, you're our allies. I, I think it would be a nice tribute to them as well. And hopefully we'll get there. The ship itself, the Albany, yeah, again, Tier 2. But the camouflage on it's pretty awesome even though we don't use the digital camouflage in the army anymore it's still very very cool so again you know thank you wargaming for this for those of you worried about using this i wouldn't be worried i used it if it makes you feel better but again if you don't feel comfortable you know no one's forcing you to and i wouldn't hold it against you so that's my two cents of the day hope you all are doing phenomenal i will catch you all later zoop out